Hey guys, today I want to talk about some free kick methods which I think is unique and never shown before. We can see here that our opponent is decides to track back with Martinez and it's gonna try to block the direct free kick. But I have a solution to this, just pass it to this guy over there and you can see all the players with the blue arrows are making runs in the gap and if you pass it to the player Games in this uh, case, uh, he can pass it to Ronaldo. So here the same situation, our opponent is tracking back with Modric, trying to block the direct free kick. So we're going to use uh, William over there and we can see that Quadrado is making a run already before we do the free kick. So if you time this correctly, it's a really, really dangerous way of taking free kicks and getting you some crucial goals in situations where your opponent is tracking back uh, and trying to block the direct free kick. And you can see that it also works on the side of the box. So we can do a short free kick and then pass it through uh, on Quadrado in this case. So this is, a, I think, a unique way of scoring free kicks. But now let's talk about the curve free kick. Now, if you're on the left side of the pitch, you're going to want to move the left stick in the direction I just showed you. You're going to aim to the middle of the goal and then move the left stick to the upper left. So you, the ball gets curved to both to the left and top spin as well. So now we're on the right side of the pitch, you're going to want to use a left-footed player. Aim to the middle of the goal. And then, in this case, move the left stick to the upper right. So you apply both top spin and side spin to the ball. And you can even score when the opponent is standing on the line, as we just saw. Here, yeah, Ronaldo scores it as well. And with Azar, if you're really quick, the opponent... I was really quick, but the opponent was on the line. But it doesn't matter if you perform it correctly. You can score it anyway. Now, the dipping free kick, uh, unfortunately, I only have one example for this. But you have to hold the left stick... Uh, just hold it up, that's all you have to do. And you're not going to apply, apply a spin to the side, you just aim directly to where you want the ball to go. And just uh, hold the left stick up and the ball is going to get top spin. And we can see that even if the opponent has someone on the line, we can still score goals. So this was a quick little tutorial, there are more uh, bigger tutorials upcoming. But if you like this type of content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This is 2 see you next time.